our great big department, we had a shortwave machine, we had ultrasound, we had wax bars, we had hot, um, hot packs, whirlpool, uh, a gymnasium, a big bed with a Guthrie frame over it. Uh, we had an old rowing machine, old wooden rowing machine, various excess equipment like that. So we could have quite quite a lot of activity. Uh, sometimes table tennis table would be put up there. And one of the joys about the table tennis was that the schizophrenic patients who move so rigidly just in a narrow plane with no rotation would be obliged once they got into the game to ro stretch in a rotational way to get the ball. So that was always nice. Um, you know, it was a sort of backhand and table tennis. You would, you know, you find that they were getting rotation, so that was good. Um, we wore uniforms, white uniforms, with uh, blue epaulets, with two white stripes if you were staff, and I think I had four when I was charge. Um, yeah, very formal, and it was cold out there and in the winter at Sunnyside going you know, across the paddocks. So we would wear our white uniforms but we also wore stockings. So we would wear two pairs of nylon stockings for warmth. Thick tights and so on weren't available. We would just wear two pairs of stockings. Uh, and our blue, we had lovely blue capes which were lined, woolen blue capes which were very nice to wear. We were very much part of the ward team, teams in that, that part. We always participated in ward meetings and planning meetings. Um, so it was a time when there was... Um, physiotherapy was really part of the psychiatric service at Sunnyside then. They still are, but there are more battles and less less recognition of our value, I think, nowadays than there was then. I think I was there at the time when it was possibly easiest for us. I had a wonderful day in the mothers and babies unit when the psychiatrist told me one day that if she could only have one staff member in a mother and babies team with herself, a psychiatrist, she would have a physiotherapist. And bless her, she said that in front of the rest of the team. I'm not sure that they appreciated it, but I certainly did. I don't think anyone would say that now, not because the physios aren't good, but just attitudes. People are really getting more selfish and protective of their own professions, and we're missing out on that, um, probably because there hasn't been enough research justifying our, our role.